Deborah? Hi, Dr. Roz. So welcome? nice to be here. So what is your secret remedy? Um, my secret remedy is chicken matzo ball soup, also known as Jewish penicillin in my household. Yes. And what's in it? I basically start with some chicken. I brown it in some butter, and I put carrots, uh, parsnips, turnips, onions, uh, black peppercorns, white pepper, some butter, dill, and celery. And then my secret ingredient is the Turkish, Turkish mm. bay leaves. Smell that. Oh, I like these. Okay, when you're breaking me smell. And that's actually so perfumey. It's actually one of the better uh, types of bay leaves that you so can use. So what do you guys think? You think this is actually effective, chicken noodle soup, with all this extra stuff in here, including the bay leaves? You want to find out? Here, let's, I got to taste this first. Oh, Dr. Oz, would you have some? <laughs> let's just see if it's good. Too. That is really good. Is All right, let's take, it, let's take it over here, check it out. Okay. Come on over here. Okay, now, let's put it in the truth tube, there it is. Question is, does it work or not? And the answer is, yes, it does. <laughs> Actually, it's very interesting. When I was going to medical school, we were just beginning to start to learn a little bit more about chicken soup and why it might make a difference, but there are chemicals in chicken soup that actually slow down the way some cells respond. And by do that, they reduce the inflammation that goes along with colds and flu. By the way, the steam off the soup, mm -hmm. that can actually help clear your stuffy airways as well. So there are many reasons that it's effective. So congratulations. Thank you. Well, can I have that when you're done? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Dr. You How are you? Hi. Welcome. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, Dr. Oz. Well, I'm excited to have oh, you here. My. So Joan has a home remedy for heartburn. What is it? Yes. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Ta-da. And there it is. Oh, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it has a smell to it. It really does have a good aroma. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to try it? Well, you know what? I am the mother of eight children and... Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And I also have 18 grandchildren. Mm. Okay. But every time that my children could, uh, got ill, okay, I couldn't go to the drugstore on the, on the drop of a dime, okay? Right. So uh, I had to improvise. I had many, many home remedies. But this one especially worked for my children, my grandchildren, and especially my husband. <laughs> now, how much did you fill the whole thing up? Two tablespoons, but that's fine, okay? And it works for heartburn. Heartburn, it relieves heartburn. And my daughter really swears by it. She really likes it. Well, don't stop complaining, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's pretty poignant. You want to find out if it works? Yes. What do you guys think? You think it works? Yes. Now, Rochelle is here. Rochelle? Yes. You, your mom experimented with you with this, right? Many times. And you think it works? <laughs> oh, I think it most definitely does. It relieves the heartburn, and it was really just handy and a lot less expensive than over-the-counter drugs. Well, I can tell you, I, I feel it right now. So, <laughs> and I didn't have heartburn to begin with. <laughs> Come on over here. All right, we're going to find out, does apple cider vinegar really work for heartburn, yes or no? And the truth tube says, ooh. Aww. Now, can I say something? I actually love apple cider vinegar for a lot of reasons. It's a great exfoliant. Uh, folks use it for all kinds of great reasons. And so I don't mean to say it doesn't work for heartburn, but we went through all the medical literature, and I just couldn't find any data. They make me comfortable saying that putting something that's a little bit acidic into the stomach would actually help deal with, with heartburn. But you know what? Doctors learn all the time. Mm -hmm. And we're much better off studying people who use things successfully to know better. Uh, but until I have a little bit of data to support, it's hard for me to recommend it to everybody. Okay. But, I, but I love the fact that you're trying these things. Okay. Here you go. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. Very much. Thank you. So, my next guest swears by a home remedy from her native country. How are you? Hi, Dr. Ash. So, Nuvia, is that right? Yes. So, Nuvia, where are you from? from Honduras. Honduras. I'm from a small village in Honduras called Santa Fe. I've been living in this country for a very long time. So what's your home remedy? My home remedy is a warm infusion of um, three, four kinds of herbs. So what problem would I have to have to try this? Because I tell you, it smells good. Okay, the infusion is good for um, P PMS. PMS. <laughs> Right. Whoa, I feel better already. <laughs> it relieves symptoms associated with the PMS, such as cramp, um, lower back pain, and bloating. Now, these are all the goodies you have in here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, but you have rosemary. Yeah, rosemary, uh, oregano, mm. um, anise seed, and clove. 
So uh, anise seeds, cloves, rosemary, and oregano. On oregano. oregano. Yes, it's really bitter and doesn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> but I drink it every month. It's very good. The ones. <laughs> So who, who thinks this might be effective for PMS? I'll only have the women vote here. <laughs> Wait, put your hands up. Who thinks? Clap for me a little bit. There we are. Good. Tell people. All right. You want to see if it works? Uh, yes. Let's just come over here. So again, we got the anise in there. We've got the peppers. We've got the rosemary. And the question is, does this concoction, this infusion, really have an effect with PMS? And the answer is... Maybe. maybe. <laughs> now let me say why it's maybe. It's very interesting. When we look at these home remedies, what we do is we, we, we take the submissions and we look very carefully to see where the data is on them. Each of the four ingredients you mentioned actually by itself has a benefit because it reduces bloating, it reduces gastrointestinal cramps. Yes. That stated, we never saw research that linked it to PMS. So it might reduce bloating from other causes, and so if you have bloating plus PMS, I could see it working for there. That's why we said maybe. Uh, and I'd love to see people do more work on this. So here's the deal. The way the show works is we try to you know, harvest the collective wisdom of all of America. So if you think Nuvia's homemade remedy is interesting, please try it, right? We'll put the recipe up on DrOz.com and then let us know on DrOz.com what happened, right? This is again for the women. Guys can try it too. But if it helps with the bloating or with the PMS, please the let us know. All right. yes. I, I want to thank Deborah, Joan, and Nuvia. If you have a home remedy you'd like to share, please send it to DrOz.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>